What's up, y'all? Today we are here in a really awesome old dump from the 1800s. We found some really cool old bottles. They're not like super old because they're not like, you know, cork tops or whatever, but they're old. I mean, do y'all remember when Gatorade was in glass? Because I don't. <laughs> but that's cool. Um, this one's awesome. I'll probably take this one home. Found something that looks like a freaking arrowhead, which is so rad. I mean, it's got the little chips on the edges and it is super sharp, so I don't know. But I would want to get poked with that thing. If you could feel it, you can, it's like almost like razor sharp. It's really super sharp, which is awesome. Found a really cool, bing, found a really cool fossil with a scalloped shell or something because, I mean, everything used to be underwater over here pretty much. And you can like find dinosaur tracks and really cool stuff. So this is an awesome place to check it out and see if we can't find any old medicine bottles or something fun here. Um, it is super hot and it's super gorgeous. <laughs> Let's keep going, y'all. Dude, <laughs> this is so awesome, y'all. Look at this. It's the top of a bottle. It's rainbowy, like Lucky Charms. <laughs> Look at this, so beautiful. I wonder what it held. Why did they just throw it in a pile? They could have used this for like a flower vase or something. This is sick AF. Look at that. That is so freaking awesome. So I'm digging in this hole right here because um, I got a reading of like 80s and then jumping around like 40s, 30s, 20s. Hopefully that's it's an armadillo. Oh, it's an armadillo. It's so much better than a homeless person. Hi, armadillo. Oh, my love, they're so cute. They look like balloon animals. Hi. Now, when you're playing in soil where armadillos defecate, you have to be careful, y'all, and play. <laughs> you have to use gloves because their poo can make you really sick to where you need to be on antibiotics. I can't remember what the heck it's called, but it's some like disease. So, just in case they have it, and you're playing in soil where they could be playing in. Where it looks. <laughs> it's a cork top. So, you put a little thingy in it, you don't go. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go ahead and ask our armadillo friends, because I speak armadillo, um, and hopefully they're going to tell us where some more stuff is. <laughs> These are like nettle-y things. They're evil, and I spent like too long trying to get them all off, and then they just hop right back on. Look at these old nails, y'all. I have no idea what this big, long doodad is, but he's awesome, and he has like a cool point to him. I have no idea, but so super awesome. I'll totally use that. These are so cool. And then this one looks like it's like a square nail or like square-ish, which means old AF. So cool. Look how corroded that thing is. So sick. <laughs> uh, what is that? That's really old. This is old, dude. Super old. Like, whoa. <gasps> Look at the buttons on that mother. Whoa, look at that thing. What is this? How the heck are we ever gonna figure out what that is? This looks really, really old, dude. Look how cool this is. What is that? It looks like a butterfly. Is that metal part two? Yep. This is awesome. We're back because I've been thinking about this hole <laughs> for a long time. You know when you like find a really good hole and you just can't let go, so you keep coming back. <laughs> I just kept thinking about this hole. I guess so. What people did was they took their chuck wagons, like Little House on the Prairie, and would ride up this kind of slope here, and I guess just dump their trash. Look, no glass. It's fun digging in other people's trash holes. I found it. That's weird. Did you have the other one? Mm -hmm. Oh, look it. This one has a part. What is it, y'all? I don't know. 
<laughs> Look at how old this thing is, dude. We found the other part the other day. Whoa, dude. This is awesome. I have no idea what it is, though. Part of a bucket? Holy... This is really old. Look at that thing. Look at... It's, like, so old. Look at... That is hammered, dude. Dude, this is hammered. Not, like, hammered like I wish I was right now. <laughs> I think it's something off a wagon. I think it's like a piece of like a bucket. You know, like, like, look at, like this. Cause it, 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 see like this, it looks like it's, it's all metal. All the components that are left are metal. Like maybe it was something on a, on a horse carriage or like a bucket that they went and got water with. The way the slope happens here, I feel like this is where water would go and maybe like, Maybe little Janie just carrying a water bucket and her dad was like, hurry up! And then she fell and she broke the bucket and she was like, so she just like threw it in the bucket. I don't know where the bucket is! <laughs> so you can tell this is super old, y'all, because um, it has like hand forged rivets and stuff that like, like components that make this like spin. And you can just see like, y'all turn it real. But you can see like the little tiny like hand forged rivets and like that just warped metal or iron. I just think it's hella old. Like before Henry Ford made the automobile, man. <laughs> okay, come on, y'all. Let's keep going. Ooh, glass. Ooh, holy shnikes. Look at that. That is old. This is so awesome, y'all. This is so cool. What is this? What's that thing? I gotta do some investigating and do some Google uh, searching for old glass. This is sick. This is like, I made you a cupcake, honey. I wonder if they're patented. I? <laughs> Want? Yo quiero mira una número en de más atrás parte de mi vidrio porque tal vez Como cuando yo encuentro eso, dígame, ¿este qué año, huh? This is fucking sick. That's sick. I'm so excited because it's like, look, here's another piece of that weird glass. It'd be so awesome if we found a whole, like, bottle. But I'm going to make, like, art with it. 94. Ooh, it looks like a penis. It's metal. Look, it's a tiny penis, y'all. It's a tiny penis. <laughs> but it really does. High reading of 80. I have no idea what it is. Are y'all sick of me saying that? I don't know what it is. Does any one of y'all know? It's a ring. <laughs> this is awesome. I have no idea what it is, but it's freaking rad. It's rusty and I will totally use it. And it's killer and I don't know, it's so fun to like try to figure out what the heck these things were. It was an old sheriff's button. <laughs> That's awesome. Just found a surface mine. <laughs> it's the top of a bottle. It's not like super old because it's got that, you know, uh, twist off. Oh, it looks like a plate. Shut up. <gasps> but look, you can see a piece of it. it. Looks like a plate or something. So we have to be really careful because we don't want to break it. So we have to carefully dig it out. Tappy tap tap. <laughs> Ta -da -da. It's a part of a porcelain plate. 
I have no idea how old it is. Oh my gosh, I think it says Martha Washington on it. Wait, wrong state. <laughs> Someone had a cut up piece of apple and cheese on this. So now we're gonna go look at this other awesome thing we found, which is the bottom of a bottle. So it looks like an, a large H and a, a smaller A on the inside of the H. And then it says five, six, seven. So maybe it was made in uh, July of 56. I have no idea exactly what that means, but it sounds good. <laughs> So I'm finding like a bunch of glass, like shards of glass. I'm totally gonna use it and make kind of like a mosaic piece, but it's just so thick and heavy. I mean, typically we don't, you know, unless someone like threw their dining room table. It says, uh, oh, meh. <laughs> I see M-E-A and then possibly an S and it looks like there was an L before it. So this is freaking awesome. It's like an old bottle, I'm guessing from like the late 1800s, early 1900s, um, with a spout on it, used for I have no idea what. Lube, just kidding. I don't, I don't know, but um, it actually still has the freaking cork in it. Because everyone uses cork nowadays to, you know. But anyways, it's so cool. I was like, what is in there? And then I like started, I'm like, oh no, I'm not gonna ruin it. I didn't even understand how the cork is still intact. It didn't get like, you know, how it hasn't disintegrated. But this is the cork and you can see like, it's already like, it, it actually has been eaten away there. But maybe because, you know, it was jammed in there. It, um, Sasquatch. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. Look at that thing. Does anyone know what this maybe could be? So cool. Dude, I just found this. So awesome. We're building puzzles here in the soil. <laughs> How could you throw this away? This is so freaking awesome. Why wouldn't you like recycle, reuse? Didn't they do that in the 1800s? Duh. Like they could have used this for something else. This is so freaking awesome. Look at that thing. It's the spout, it's like a locket or like a best friend charm. Just found a vacuum tube. That's cool. Looks like a test tube, but it's thinner. 85, 88, 83. This thing is weird. It looks like it's like, it, but it's like kind of bendy, like leather or something. You can wait for me. The archaeologist ways to dig it out like a dog. <laughs> I have my scraper. Well, whatever it is, it's been here a while. So we got it out of the ground, y'all. I have no idea what it is, but it's made of possibly copper because I scratched it with my claw and it like, looks like maybe it's copper. I don't know. What the heck is that thing? Part of a car? Y'all think maybe it's part of a Model T Ford? Because even when the Model T Fords were, you know, cruising, they had trash that <laughs> they threw over here. Back in the late 1800s, there was no, um, you know, trash pickups. There's no like guy in a big truck. So you drove your trash to a dump or you burned it. So mystery item, y'all. What is it? <laughs> Don't lick it. It could have mercury on it. <laughs> it's weird. I'll use it though. It's cool. Woo! It's a spoon. It's a spoon. Eso 
cuchara, es una cuchara. Wow, that's old. Holy smokes. I don't think there's any writing on it. Because if y'all think about it, well, you can just tell it's effing old because who makes spoons like that anymore? It's like all thin and that's awesome. So cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little painting on the back. <laughs> Whoa. Dude. Man, that is cray. Is it copper? Holy. Babe, that's old. This is like a gold mine right here. Y'all! <laughs> I found the other piece of the poon. Of the spoon. Look. Cling. It's a little spoon. Because cowboys were smart. And who wants to reach like this far away from your mouth to feed yourself? Uh -uh. No, cowboys are smarter. It's closer together. Look at that. Perfect match. Like, hmm, I'm eating soup. <laughs> I'm eating beans, y'all, with my small spoon because it makes more sense. Duh. <laughs> Woohoo! Maybe it even came on the Titanic. <laughs> Arr, shiver me timbers. <laughs> a p Whoa, trip out, dude. <laughs> it was a pirate's rum bottle. Whoa! Whoa, look at this, y'all. What the? Okay, I'm a cowgirl. I ride horses. And um, I, at first glance, I thought, it opened up and it would be like part of the English uh, bit, like a, a snaffle or whatever. But um, it didn't bend that way. I mean, it could be like rusted. I'm gonna call my BFF and ask if she knows, but maybe it's a part of a buckle or some sort of a horse tack. If y'all know, please leave it in the comments because this is super fascinating and this is awesome. I don't even know. I don't even know if I want to use this in my art. This can be like something I'll put on my wall. <laughs> this is like super old. It's made of iron or something. And it's just, it's even been eaten away at. I mean, it's just so freaking old. So cool, man. Hand forged from God knows when. So freaking cool. If anyone knows, leave it in the comments, y'all. Please. So another piece with that large H with the little small A in it, inside of it. So this is like a different piece and it has the H and the A. So maybe from the same era, obviously from the same company. <laughs> but maybe somebody's wife got really pissed that he went to the, you know, Victorian Hooker Hotel and then threw all the plates in the, off the side of the cliff. <laughs> you never know. Look at that y'all, so cool. It looks like a R or a P right there in that circle. Teeny tiny cork bottle. So cool. Hey, what's up, y'all? We went detecting at this awesome old dump that's from the uh, 1800s, late 1800s. We found some amazing things that are super old. Very cool. Don't really know what a lot of the things are, so maybe y'all can help me out. I'm obviously not used to finding this many amazing pieces of glass and this is only like not even a third of what we found. I have it all in like my handy dandy plastic bags. <laughs> um, so I'm totally going to make some amazing mosaic art with all the little pieces of glass that we found that were naturally, you know, broken over the years or, you know, when they were tossed over the side of the chuck wagon. One that stumped me was this weird kind of thing. It had a pretty high reading. Um, I think it was like 85 or something. And it might be copper or brass. Perhaps like it went to like a car or I don't know. Maybe from a Model T Ford. Never know. Um, so found some really awesome Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> models. Um, found a cool little possible cattle tag or something that says 1901 on it. But um, pretty sure that's some sort of a plastic. 
and a little nail there, so that's cool. And this one's super cool. It's pulled out of the ground, and I was like, hey, it looks like a piece. I don't know. It's pink, and I don't know. It's cool, though. Maybe, like, the handle of, like, a like a vase, you know, like a water, fancy water jug, if that's what it was, or fancy water glass pitcher. Um, a lot of milk glass, which is super cool. I mean, that dates back to, like, at least, uh, i got to do some homework, but I think at least the 30s or something, probably even earlier. Some mystery metal which, you know, I always love mystery metal because I totally love using it in my art. Um, that's why I'm out here, y'all. <laughs> to collect, recycle, reuse, repurpose, right? Um, super cool, have no idea what that is. This was actually my favorite piece that we found. Um, this, I kind of like to think of it as some sort of a part of a wagon or the horse and buggy carty part or some kind of like a bucket maybe. If y'all know, please message me. That is so freaking cool, I love it killer hand forged iron so maybe it was like the you know the component on the outside of the buggy that held up like a a lantern you know a candle oil lantern whatever it was super freaking cool I don't even know what it is but it is awesome that's all I know <laughs> and then this is awesome so found this in kind of the same area same hole or little pitcher if you will so freaking cool. When I look at this stuff, I just think of like Pirates of the Caribbean and Disneyland, like when you finally get to the end of the ride and you see all like the treasure. I'm like, what? So cool. Like, don't, don't you hear it now? Like, yo ho, yo ho, the pirates. Like, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Where's my green emeralds and my blue diamonds and my purple horseshoes and, sorry, Lucky Charms commercial. Never mind. Okay. So, <laughs> so found this little guy this was for whoops, the pirate he drank his big old jug of rum and then he gave his little puppy a tiny no um little cool bottle top spout super cool you know it's old he used to use a cork y'all oh and then the coolest part about this thing other than the awesome handle that we found the freaking cork is still in it what i mean that is awesome y'all we found a poon we found a spoon man what the heck? So freaking cool. You know this is from the cowboy days. First of all, it's like super thin. It's not like, you know, the kind that they make these days or whatever. I mean, I can see the cowboy and he's got his horse tied up to the tree and he's got his can of beans and his little campfire going on and he's reaching with his little tiny spoon. Because cowboys were awesome. And why do you need a handle this long for your spoon like nowadays? Like, doesn't it make more sense? It's kind of more caveman, but it's kind of more awesome. You can feed your face faster, right? Duh. <laughs> Sasquatches everywhere here. Anyways, so, so found both sides. That was so freaking rad. That was just like Christmas right there. So killer. Do so many things with that. And then cool little tag. I'm not sure if it's a cattle tag or something else. If y'all know, please let me know. Please message. I love it. Um, found this awesome thing. What the heck? To me, it looks like a like a buckle clasp or something like from Paul Revere. No, not really. But I mean, who knows? I have no idea. Um, to me, I don't know. Maybe like on the wagon, on some part of the you know get up, all the gear on the horse that pulled the wagon. Not really sure, but it's old AF. It is solid iron. It is killer. Okay, the other fave of the day, other than the poon, is this. Not really sure what it is. If y'all know, please comment. And it still has that class. So I'm not really sure if it was a buckle or like a component on a horse bit or what, because it, you know, it's just kind of, I mean, obviously it's just like corroded. So it's like kind of stiff and I don't want to bust it. I don't want to force the issue. So if y'all know, I'd love to hear. Um, and now I finally have half a plate to eat my dinner on. <laughs> no, but this was awesome, dude. This was an awesome find. Everything was awesome. It was super cool. You know, the Sasquatches visited us like a lot. Lots of rustling and rumbling in the bushes. Don't think they were our armadillo friends. They sounded a lot larger. But anyways, we had fun. Thanks for watching. And uh, look for my next videos to see my art. that I And now the fun things that I do with all these pieces. So see you next time, y'all. Thanks for watching.
Okay, I think I'm literally being eaten while I'm talking. I'm so annoyed. I'm not finding anything good. Just a bunch of signals. <laughs> I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna be needed. I, I think I'm gonna be need. I think I'm being needed. No. I want to look for a patent date on the bottom. I want to look for a patent date on the bottom. I want to look for a patent date on the bottom. I <laughs> want. Yo quiero mira una número en de más atrás parte de mi vidrio. Jesus Christ, what was that? <laughs> Answer cool, y'all. I just don't want them in my pants. So just have that. Just found a surface fine. Am I on? Dude. It's gotta be. You think so? Oh yeah. For sure, right? With the cork on it like that? Oh, yeah. A penis. Wagon or the buggy or whatever you want kind of <laughs> Or whatever. Maybe it went maybe it was the <laughs> red leather, yellow leather. See? It's closer to <laughs> 